As opposed to the outdoor we've done in the past, the reason we're indoors is we now have the fruits of our research, the fruits of our effort in the field itself, and we're bringing those results to you, the consumer, onto and other interested parties on the website as well. So what we've got behind us here is our display where we're offering choice in the whole area of genetic engineered crops, choice to the consumer, but when they say I either do or don't like the genetically engineered, as you can see behind us, we have a fairly comprehensive range of information that we hope stimulates people's thoughts so that when they say, on the one hand, I'm nervous about pesticides, I'm really nervous about genetic engineering, but on the other hand, they also say, I won't buy corn that has worm damage. So here we are providing as much information as we can because if there's one thing we've noticed so far with our consumer testing is that people are very curious about the technology and they don't know very much about it. Also there's a big gap between what consumers want in terms of quality and how they want it to be produced. So we have all our information uh, set up here behind me on how the sweet corn was produced. We're giving samples and taste tests so people can taste them and see if there's a difference and hopefully we'll be providing all this information to consumers and help them to make their own choice. And, and when Tija talks about providing the information, we list all the sprays that were required. Remember at the outset our goal was to produce a consumer acceptable product at the end of the day through this research project. And by achieving that, we now have the results that we can put out there so consumers know exactly what was sprayed on. And then we have, as she stated, the information regarding the genetically engineered side. So, hopefully we'll get a good sense of what the consumers want and how, what the reaction is to this kind of information and if it's information that is needed in the supermarkets to help people understand this technology better. So in essence, when we hold up the different types of cobs here, what you see on the genetically engineered ones are a nice smooth, nice green cob, no real marks to relate to any form of insect damage. On the conventional, a slight amount of marking, but certainly acceptable, although there's a bit of a blotch there. Uh, which, which makes it a bit unsightly. You peel that back. Is a store going to peel that back like I just did? I can do it here at Farmer Jeff's Market, but is local Loblaws here going to be doing that? Probably not. And so at the end of the day, people will have that choice, but we hope it will be an informed choice. You can teach it, talk about money, talk about the, uh, how you're keeping track of the perceptions and, and other things that people First of all, we are keeping track of several things through our consumer trials. Um, one thing is just straight observation, marking down what people say, keeping an eye on what they choose, a lot of their comments with the taste tests, um, a lot of their comments around that, and they taste the difference between them, that sort of thing. We also have a survey that we're going to be implementing starting next week, and we'll just be uh, serving consumers about their choices and what made them decide what they decided. And remember the three questions that we're trying to answer through this whole project where what's been put to the farm community as concerns, predominantly through advocacy groups, but on behalf of the general public. A, genetically engineered crops don't taste as good. B, genetically engineered crops have a much higher impact in a negative sense on the environment. And C, there are no benefit to either consumers or the farm community by using this technology. So far, we seem to be dispelling all three. Now, based one of the things that Katija is doing is we are keeping track as best we can on sales of both the genetic engineered and the regular sweet corn. And as we sit here today, the genetic engineered corn is outselling the regular folks.